Hi right, guys, I'm Fagonius2 and this is the Kuov Park Meeting. This is one of the easier missions and um, 47 has a sweet motorboat. So, it is one of the easiest missions I think in my opinion. And um, if you do it this way, because what you're meant to do is go all the way over to the radio tower here and snipe the guys. And you have to snipe them with one shot, which is quite difficult, as it's one shot for two people. But if you sh only shoot one person, though, um, the other guy runs away and will escape in his limo. So what we're going to do is we're going to blow them up, not even using remote, but automatically with car bombs. So we're just going to get to our equipment, and um, then we're going to go down to the sewers. We don't need any disguise for this mission, but we do need one little one. Now, if that guy can turn around and go away. Because if guy sees you near the bins, he will get paranoid. And I, don't, I mean, like, really paranoid. Here in Russia, you cannot go near bins. Okay, we're going to need a uh, car bomb. We don't need a sniper, take the pistol ammo. Car bomb again. And that is all we're going to need. And we might as well grab that pistol. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to sewers. Because the sewers are the best part in Russia. Because no one can see you. So, there are two bombs we need to place. Now, the first one is really easy. It's that one there, and um, all you have to do is the, the car is actually parked over the place, over the um, opening to the sewers. So we can just just go up to it and um, we'll go under it and place the bomb. The second one we have to take the disguise of a um, uh, a chauffeur, and then we just walk up to it and place a bomb in front of like three guards, but they don't care because I'm a chauffeur, so it's fine. But let's place this first one. Up here. All the way up. And there's the car, well, the bottom of the car. And let us place the bomb. There you are, 47. Like, rub it against a bit, and it's magically there. Now we go all the way down. And the bomb has been armed, so as soon as the car moves, it will blow up. So, um, yeah. That's the one, our first target basically killed. So, that was easy. Now the second one, there's three tunnel openings, and we want to go to the one on the first one on the left, so the one I'm going to go to, because the first one takes you to the middle of um, the road, which you can't go out, the second one takes you to like near the edge of the road, where you still can't go out, but the last one takes you around to this little corner, where we can um, sneak up behind a guy and sedate him. So, run over here. So here we go. Yeah, all the way along. So, not this one, not the first one, not the second one, but the third one. And that's what we're going to do. And then once we plant the car bomb, we can just run to the exit and um, they'll blow up as we go along. So, here we go. I've got the right one, yeah. And, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, we need to get our sedate ready, so put that in our quick sedate. Nope. Up we go. All the way up. I see the light. Up to the light, yep. Yeah. And just stick our head out. And it says some Russian there. And we're just going to wait for the chauffeur. So, streets. Now, we are just, where are we? We are just here, in that opening there, and the chauffeur is that guy in green. So now it's the waiting part. We are just have to wait for him to walk around. Then we'll pop out, sedate him, and plant the bomb. And there are two, there are two targets. And um, that is our, our bomb, that's our bomb there, for the first guy and they're just going to walk around and talk for a while 
and as you can see, it's very well guarded, so getting to the radio tower is quite difficult. But, um, yeah, we just have to wait for this guy. Yep, here he comes. And he's going to walk around, all the way around, really slowly, and get sedated by Mr. 47, who, as we can see, is just there. And no one ever notices that weird, bold guy just lurking in the hole. And he'll come out any second now. Just in a second. Just coming around the corner now. There he is. And no one, of course, minds a chauffeur placing a bomb. Because obviously it's just air freshener or something, isn't it? Now this guy is going to take a piss. And we are just going to sneak up behind him. And don't worry, he'll go on for ages. And you know when he's just about to finish up, because he'll do that. And there we are. Now we're only going to, going to need to give him about three, I'll give him four to be on the safe side. But we don't need to knock him out for very long. So, take cloves. And here we go. Let us plant the final bomb. Remember, do not run, of course, because this is Hitman 2 Science Assassin, not Blood Money. So we'll just walk slowly over to the car. Don't worry, guys. Um, I'm just gonna just gonna put an air freshener. Just gonna put an air freshener on this car. Just gonna the air freshener goes under the car, of course. Um, that's where it goes. Put it under there. Okay, guys. Um, I'm gonna take a break. I'll never see you again because this car actually drives itself. So don't worry about that. And let's walk away. We have a very nice Russian background, Saint Petersburg background. As soon as we get around the corner, we can run. Here we go. So now I'll change back into my suit because that's just what 47 does. Change clothes. And let's go back into the sewers and we can escape. And we'll just head back to where we started off and uh, escape by our awesome motorboat. So like I say, this is one of the easiest missions. And if you follow me, you will definitely get signed to Saturn. It's only if you try doing the sniping thing that you'll fail. Because that park is really hard to get past. Because there's like two different kinds of guard suits. Right, which way should I go? Um, I'll go this way. <laughs> and um, we'll take the bridge across and go back to the beginning. But um, there are two kinds of guards, so it's, it's kind of hard because you take one and they're both really suspicious. And it's just, it's hard because they're, they, they're so close together, you can't get past them because they'll suspect you so much and it'll go off. So, those bombs will go off in just a minute. See, they're leaving the area. And it will say they're blown up. Because they'll get into their cars. There's one. Found a dead mafia boss. And the other guy will run to his car and get blown up as well. Let's make sure... There we are. I'm just uh, climbing out this hole because this is where I live. And that's where the other one goes off. Just tap that run button because you don't want that guard behind us to get really suspicious. Especially when we're this close to the end. <laughs> so, here we go. Into our motorboat. And escape. There we are, Sun Assassin. One alert because you get the guy got blown up so save our progress as usual as usual there we are love the new HD savings like so quick now and loading and let's see what we have next 47 Diana here 
Brilliant. Our client is most satisfied, but is still in a hurry to stop the last two generals before they get close to the truth. We've received information that one of the generals, General Mikhail Bardachenko, is interrogating people in the basement of the military facilities just off Nevsky Prospect. The video was recorded by a security cam almost two days ago, so we have to hurry. Somewhere in the multi-level maze of corridors, you will find your target. Make sure the prisoner being interrogated escapes unscathed. Your equipment is in the supply yard near a crate marked FCK, just behind the main entrance. Security is beefed up because of rumors of an impending assassination attempt on the general. So, once you've completed your mission, there's only one way out. Blast your way through a wall out into the sewers and return to the subway. We've located the only place where the walls are thin enough. It's marked on your map. Keep it clean, 47. Okay. So, guys, see you next time for our subway torpedo. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.